the gang and they come and get janked. Call me your river, get through with this shit. Alright guys, what's up? My dual caliper brackets came in. A very simple like design. FDF Ray Shop. They're aluminum, so I have to find someone. Well, I found someone to weld them in. I just have to pull off my knuckles, put them in the right spot, and I can give them to the kid. Brake line. And then some calipers in there with brand new pad. Um, definitely check them out. They're a good company. These are pretty cheap. So I'm going to pull my rear wheels off. Throw them under there, and then I can start taking off the knuckles. Both the wheels are off. I loosened everything yesterday, so it should be an easy process of pulling everything out. Alright, so, and uh, look what just pulled in. That should be it, so. So, as you can see, it got a little dark, but I got the knuckle off. You're going to want to throw the vacuum plate back on if you're keeping the factory e-brake. And then throw the hub on top of that so you can find out what on the vacuum plate you have to cut. I already did this for the other side, but I'm going to show you guys for this side. up a little bit so you can see the sharpie marks and when Brian goes to weld it he doesn't have to clean it and then ruin the sharpie marks so I'm just gonna do that right now little wire wheel on the drill I'm going to make some cuts and then I can line up where I have to put the new like bracket piece which goes right here mark that up down here and up here we can cut it off all right so once you get a couple slots in it you can just bend it back and forth and it should break off And bolt on the caliper with pads in it so you can get it centered. And then bolt this on to the caliper. And then you can put this onto the knuckle assembly. And then if you come back here, get your Sharpie, put a mark down here. And then I'll put two up here so we can get it lined up perfect and go along that line. And that's how you mock up how your dual calipers are going to sit. I cut the heat shield a little too much, but so now pull the calipers back off, wheel bearing off, and they like drum brake on the inside. And then I can go drop them off to get welded up. All right, so while I had everything off, I said I might as well just paint the backing plate. They're both painted, they're drying, and then I dropped off the knuckles last night to get welded up. He said he should do them today. Two hours later. All right, so we just got the knuckles back. The welds look pretty decent. All right, so I just mocked it up with the two like dual calipers I have. It looks pretty good. Come over here, this is the one that was welded on. 
And this is the stock one. We still got the heat shield on. I wanted to keep this. I cleaned up the knuckle. And tomorrow, if it's not raining, I'll throw these in and we'll have dual calipers. Alright, so as you guys saw, the dual caliper brackets are welded on. I have the calipers with the new pads in there ready to go on. Put the brake lines on. Both the knuckles have the backing plate, stock e-brake, and wheel bearing on it. I just have to connect the e-brake down there. Might be a little bit of a pain, but I want to keep the factory e-brake. I have the whole, the whole knuckle assembly over here. First thing we're going to do is hook up the e-brake because I want to keep the stock e-brake. Then we can throw the axle in and mount it up to everything else. Alright, so we got the knuckle back on. I didn't film putting the, e the stock e-brake back on because it's seriously a pain and to get the axle in it would have taken too long. I'm going to tighten this a little bit. And then I can start connecting everything in the... Shut up! Hey! And then everything else can go on, and we'll have dual calipers. Yes! Just lining these up down here sucks so bad. Yeah, I bet. Hopefully. Like nothing to fry off of. Get some dual pry bar action. Hey. Come on! Just ruin the shot. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Alright, so everything's all tight in here. I have to tight, tighten the axle nut, but I can do that once the calipers are on so I have something to stop the wheel. But I'm gonna, I also readjusted the e brake so it locks up like faster and it actually locks up because before it wouldn't lock up. But the rotor can go on. Chill! And then I can throw this caliper on and throw the dual caliper on. Great. And we'll come in here. I believe it's this one. The pads right here. And then we can go throw this thing in. Let's see if he just ate it. But I'll set up the camera and throw this caliper on. Papi Chulo! Another thing that's cool, FDF supplies new bolt. All we have to do now is tighten these up and the calipers are on. So, dual calipers are on. I have to make the lines, but can't really see it, but it's gonna get tucked up there. And then I'll have a T back here somewhere. But when I'm making the lines, I'll show you that. All right, that side's all set. Time to do this side. I'm not gonna film this side since I filmed pretty much all of the other sides. So if you just do this, and then this, and just like that, it's done. So I'm gonna put the wheels back on, get this back on the ground. Drive it a little bit and see if there's any like hold up. There shouldn't be, but we're gonna do this now. All right, so the dual calipers are on. The wheels are back on. I can put it back on the ground, but Zeke's interrupting. So here it is, finally back on the ground. Zeke! Calipers are in there. Kind of hard to see. I want to repaint the stock ones because they're pretty ugly, all rusty. And then I gotta, I gotta do some body work over the winter. But we're just gonna send it as is. And yeah. All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna put this in the dual caliper bracket video. But got some new wheels for the Z. 
I'm gonna pull these purple things off. The kid I bought the wheels from, turns out we knew him. Turns out he has plus 15 wheels he wants to trade for these, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll have burners that don't sit in like this. So I'm gonna pull these off and throw the new wheels on. So we got the wheels on. Definitely gonna have to pull my fenders a little bit, but in the back, I need to go lower too, but I don't know if it, when I come off the ramps or the pieces of wood, it'll go a little bit lower, but definitely need to do that. I need to get one more tire because one tire was blown out on the wheels, so still so hyped on these wheels. They look so good. So, we take this thing out. I'm gonna end the video here, so if you guys liked it, comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the new wheels and the dual calipers. And there's gonna be a, a hydraulic e-brake video coming out soon. So keep watching to see that.